Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor at WiseAnt and solving a question that was submitted by a student. Um, this is a good uh, question for reviewing the unit circle and angles around the circle. So that's why I thought it would be good to take another look at this. Uh, we have, we're told that the angle of interest in this problem is uh, in quadrant two. So hopefully you know your quadrants. Oops, sorry about that. Hmm. Okay, let me get this to move back. Here we go. Okay, try again now. Okay, so here we have our four quadrants. It's quadrant one, two, three, and four. We're told the angle is in quadrant two. And so right away we draw our triangle, our right triangle in quadrant two. Now, this is going to be uh, the x value is going to be negative, and the y value is going to be positive here in this quadrant. We're told that the cosine, cosecant rather, t is 3. Well, that the cosecant is just 1 over the sine. So if the, t if the sine of t is 3, it if 3 is 1 over the sine of t, then you can see that just cross multiply here. And you're going to get the sine of t is equal to 1 third. Then you have to remember your Sokotoa. Sine is one uh, opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite is one, the hypotenuse is three. Now once we have this, this is our angle T. Once we have this, we can do anything we want with it. Uh, we'll come up with all the uh, trigonometric functions for this angle. But first we need this leg here. And so we're just going to, we can call that x if we like. And we'll do Pythagorean theorem. So 1 squared plus x squared equals 3 squared. So x squared is 8. And x would be equal to 2 times the square root of 2. When we take the square root of 8, that's what we get. We get the square root of 4 times 2, which is 8. You bring out the 4, and it turns into 2. Okay, so now we're ready to answer the question. And I'll change colors just to highlight the question answers. So let's go with sine t, cosine t, tangent t. And then we'll just use the reciprocals. So this would be cosecant t, secant t, cotangent t. OK, so we've got that lined up. All we have to do now is look at the triangle to get the sine. Oh, it's sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so that's going to be one third. We knew that already. Now this we found to be 2 root 2 here. So cosine is 2 root 2 over 3. Okay, so it's adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So that will be 1 over 2 root 2. We're not supposed to leave a radical in the denominator, so we multiply top and bottom by the square root of 2. So you're going to get 
square root of 2 on the top. On the bottom, you're going to get uh, 4. And that would be your answer for the tangent. So all I did was uh, opposite over adjacent, 1 over 2 root 2, and then multiply top and bottom by root 2. So 1 times the square root of 2 is square root of 2. 2 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 4. Now all we have to do here is just take the reciprocal. So this is going to be 3 over 1. This is going to be 3 over 2 root 2. And we can't leave it that way. So we multiply top and bottom by root 2. So you're going to get 3 root 2 over 4 here. And then the cotangent would be 4 over root 2. Or um, actually, let me not do that. Do it that way. Oh, where's the undo? Yeah, there it is. I'll just take the reciprocal of this guy here. So it's two root two over one. So now we have the six trigonometric. Uh, function values for this angle T. We don't actually know the size of T, do we? We don't need to know it. You could do this on the calculator, first getting the size of T just from the uh, sine, and you just take the inverse sine of T, and that would give you uh, the answer, the size for T, and then you could find everything else on your calculator. But that's not uh, the proper way to do this, because you're not really using any trigonometric knowledge um, this is a nice review. You're going to see problems like this in geometry. You're going to see them again in pre-calculus. You'll see them again on SAT and ACT. So this is just a good solid review of trigonometry. Of course, I forgot that this is negative, so I apologize. So now I have to go back and fix it. I'm glad I saw that when we uh, before we signed off. So the sine is going to be positive, cosine will be negative, tangent will be negative also. Likewise, this will be negative and this will be negative. Sorry about that. So I'm glad I saw that before we ended this session. So um, that's it. That's all looks correct to me. So uh, that's it for this problem. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.